Have you been brave enough to make your paper pulp clay? I wonder. If you haven't, don't worry. This video might give you the incentive you need to feel brave and have a go. Um, I'm going to show you what I've made and how to use your paper pulp clay to make plates inspired by those of Picasso that look like this. And also how to make some 3D sculptures inspired by Franz Vest. Our clay took about four days to dry in the end. You can tell when it's dry because it turns from a dark grey to a light grey and you can actually feel that it's very hard. Once it's dry you can start to decorate your clay sculptures. So I used poster paint. I hope you've got some poster paints. If you have poster paint, you might want to uh, use PVA glue as well. If you have acrylic paints, you can use acrylic paints. Or if you have acrylic paint pens, which are lovely to use, you're, you can use those too. You might have a Sharpie or a permanent uh, marker pen. So while my clay was drying, especially the plates and the bowls, I started to design some patterns to put on them and I was inspired by the designs and the one line drawings of uh, Picasso's animals and as you can see behind me here, I um, tried out a few by just drawing round the plate that I'd used or rather one of a similar size, same size, and then I started to put together some ideas. So you can see the two smaller ones here for the bowls, and then I just used some of the ideas that Picasso did. Oh, that one, that one's my bird that I did there, that I designed. Um, and then I sort of put some patterns around them here, and here you can see, love the elephant there. And I love this mask one here, isn't that fantastic? That is one of Picasso's ones that's quite easy to do. So um, I knew that some of these were a bit too detailed because the plates, when they're dry, are quite rough textured and it's quite bumpy to draw on them, to paint on them. So uh, you've got to keep it quite simple and quite bold, which is why I went for the Picasso style paintings and patterns because he keeps it quite simple and quite bold and this is what you need on that sort of rough texture that the paper pulp clay gives. So you can see here all these designs to show you um, how I got on and uh, you'll be able to see which of these designs I went for. I started by mixing myself a lovely sky blue paint, just poster paint, and then I covered one side of the plate with this colour. When it was dry, I turned it over and painted the same colour on the back. When the paint was dry, I sketched my bird that I'd already designed in pencil. It was a bit bumpy, but I managed. And I could rub it out, actually. It was quite easy to rub it out. And as you can see, this is the one line robin that I drew earlier, right in the middle of the plate, nice and big. Then I added some black paint to that line. Once I'd drawn some leaves around the edge, a simple pattern, 
I added some colour to those, just some muted greens and yellows, just a little bit of paint to fill in the pattern at the edge of the plate. While that was drying, I started on my bowl, which I just painted in a gorgeous yellow colour, the inside, and then I flipped it over and did the back of the bowl. While that was drying, I used some blue and white paint to paint the other small bowl and I did a kind of marble effect. I was going to do a fish in the middle of this, so I wanted it to look kind of like water. So I put a blob of white, then a blob of blue and then just mixed it just a little bit to create this lovely marbled blue and white effect. And I did this on the back as well, once it was dry. I also added the elephant design to the small bowl and the colour to the middle of the robin. So in the end, with the three plates and bowls that I made, I did one that was based on this idea here. I did one that was based on, can you spot it, which one? It was this one here, but I didn't do the plate, I actually did, oh, I can't see. This one here, the little elephant in the small bowl. And then I went for the fish design in the other small bowl, but it was too small to actually put the fish design in. And I decided that it would look much better actually with um, just the background because I did that quite complicated uh, marbled background, which was really fun to do. And I just thought that looked pretty enough. Anyway, I've got them here to show you. So here's the little bowl here. Um, and I have hurt, see it's got it on the back as well. Isn't that just so pretty? Love that. So yeah, it could have a fish in the middle of it, but I just decided that this was enough and that was just so gorgeous. Um, I've put a layer of PVA glue on top. So I'd rate, if you have got some PVA, like liquid white glue, if you've got any of that, do put a layer on, it will really toughen it up even more. And um, especially if you're using poster paint rather than acrylic paint. If you're using acrylic paint, you don't need to do that at all. But if you want, this is poster paint, so um, you'll want to put, if, you, if you've got it, put a bit of glue top just to make it even tougher. But you can hear, it's very hard and I haven't dropped it. I'm gonna try not to drop it, but I think even if I dropped it, it might be okay. Um, do you want to see the other bowl? Uh, so this is the gorgeous little elephant bowl here which the colours I just love. So I just happen to have a uh, poster paint colour in that lovely sort of mustard yellow, which I love, I love that yellow colour. And you can see the little elephant in the middle there, which I did in pencil first, and then went over, actually in that one, I did. I went over that with a um, Sharpie, so a permanent uh, pen. But you could try and do, do it with paint if you've got paint. And then round the edge, I just did a very simple pattern inspired by Picasso's simple patterns, which looks really effective, I think. Gorgeous little bowl. And again, I've covered that with a layer of PVA glue just to make it even tougher. But, um, and then the plate, um, I went for the bird, as you'll remember. And here it is, it's the bird. And uh, so as you can see, this is actually a robin, uh, based on the robin that Daisy and I found in the uh, magazine and we made our own one line drawing using that bit of string. So it's really nice to see it go from a photograph in a magazine to a string drawing to a one line drawing. And then I used that to make my robin there. And I just put a simple design of leaves around the edge. Again, I got that idea from one of Picasso's plates. And I also put some glue, some PVA glue on the back and the front. You can see it's a little bit wonky. That's because I got it out too soon. I wanted to paint it straight away. <laughs> you can tell when they're ready because they go um, from a darkish grey blue colour to much paler, much paler. And you can really see when it's dry. And I was a bit impatient with mine because I wanted to get on and paint it. <laughs> so there we go. So there's my plates and my bowls.
I love how Fran's vests, sculptures are on white plinths and it really does give your sculptures a bit of a um, bit of status and a bit of importance and it really makes them look like they're in an exhibition, albeit a miniature exhibition, if you put them on a plinth. So this is one of our plinths here that we made, I just, this has uh, got Daisy's Elemental Earth here. Just take that off very carefully, might be worth a fortune one day. <laughs> and um, you can probably guess what this is. Yep, this is the empty toilet roll, which we just covered in a piece of white paper with some sticky tape and then made a circular one and then just trimmed it round the edge and stuck it down. So it's very light, but of course so is the sculpture, so it just gives it a really nice way to display it. Right, and this plinth here is, uh, this is it's like a cracker box and all we did was we undid it we cut it in half, so if I get the other half of it, you can see that makes the box you can see inside. And we just put it inside out and then taped it up again. That's a really good trick if you want to reuse cardboard boxes, especially if you want to paint on them and things. If you turn them inside out, then you've got a really nice non-shiny surface, but obviously we wanted to leave them white here like they're in an exhibition. So that's how we made our little white plinths. We made a whole miniature gallery. have paint, design, uh, put some PVA glue on if you're using post paint just to make them last a little bit longer and transform that paper pulp clay into beautiful colourful things that you can really be proud of and design your own exhibition, your own mini exhibition maybe. Um, see you next time, keep well, keep safe and keep creating, bye!